welcome to another tip by Mavil Photography. Uh, today, I'm going to be in Photoshop. Um, this is from a wedding I just recently photographed. And what we're going to show you today is how to fix those closed eyes on one person in a group or something like that. Uh, you can see here, uh, it's all the bridesmaids and the bride. I really like the shot, how the bride had her eyes closed. So we're just going to go ahead and fix that. There are two ways to do it. Um, you can actually just bring over the eyes, um, or if you don't have a angle that's exactly the same for the eyes, you can do what we're going to do here, which is pull over her entire head. And so I found this one. This one's pretty similar angle. Um, so I'm going to grab both of them, pop them in Photoshop. You're going to go to the one that you're taking from make a selection make it pretty wide pretty general I'm um, just using the marquee selection right here um, and then you're just gonna take the move tool uh, for all of you out there who like key commands it's V on your keyboard um, grab it drag it over to the other photo this is I'm using CS5 so you actually have to drag it to the tab and then bring it back down and let it go which is part of the one of the things I don't really care for in CS5 but I'll live. So, have it over here, and you need to put it over top um, so you can see that it's going to match up where you're putting it. I'm going to take the opacity down to around 50% um, and try and line it up as best as possible. Now, it's obviously not lining up great. So, part of the reason is I can see that it needs to turn just a little bit. So, I'm going to tweak it by turning. I'm going to try and get her face to be the thing that is lining up the best. And there's a couple things I could go off of. Uh, you know, her watch, you can see. I mean, her bracelet here, her back, the flowers, her fingers here are a good one to line up on. Um, however, I'm going to just try and keep it to her face. Because that's the main thing I want to keep um, in the same position. There we go. That's close enough. Move up just a touch. Give her a little height. I'm sure she won't mind. Alright. I'm going to take the opacity back up to 100%. I'm going to put a layer mask on it, which is this little round thing here. It'll bring this up. So basically what you're doing here with the layer mask is anything you paint over this in black is going to disappear because you're masking it out. So just take a big nice soft brush you can see I got it at 70 it's soft and big and just start brushing out part of the picture you don't want I'm gonna brush out a good amount of this I only brought it over just in case for some things that I needed um, but you know, I'm just gonna big and broad and just take out a bunch of it Go back in and detail it in just a second. The nice thing is when you get into places like hair and stuff where it's fairly dark, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of get away with um, hiding some things. Um, but you want to be, again, like I stressed in the last video, pretty detailed about what you do here. Um, or else it's going to just show up and it's going to look weird. Let's bring that back just a little bit. And you can change the opacity. I just changed it. If you hit the number keys across your keyboard, it'll change the opacity up and down. One for 10%, two for 20, so on and so forth. Zero is back to 100%. So, a little extra tip. There, looks pretty good. Um, you don't want to get too soft in areas where they're, where it's not soft, so, um, I'm using a pretty small photo here, just to save on time, so Photoshop doesn't choke on it, um, but if you're using a bigger photo, you want to make sure you're very detailed in what you're taking away, what you're brushing away. The nice thing about the layer mask is I can, um, you see the the color switching back and forth is because I'm actually adding back 
picture into it, and that's the nice thing about using a layer mask as opposed to uh, erasing. I hate erasing. Don't ever do that, please. If I catch you erasing, I'll find you and hunt you down. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I really am uh, against erasing, so always be able to bring your work back if you need to. I mean, even if you're just going to flatten it right after this, it's a good habit to get into. So I think that looks pretty good. A um, little bit of movement, but again, when you flat, you, you're looking at it, nobody's going to know. Flatten it down. And save it. And that's it. Again, another tip by Maville Photography uh, in Photoshop CS5. Have a great weekend, everyone.